Hey everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome to Coffee Chat. Today is Warranty Wednesday. It is also National Home Warranty Day. So no better day for me to have a local celebrity in the real estate oh, industry. celebrity. You are. And Joyce, I mentioned her name to somebody earlier today, told them who was going to be on Coffee Chat today. I'm like, everybody knows her. And they said, well, I know her. Um, oh. So anyway, that being said, I'm super thrilled to have this smiling and lovely Joyce with us. So Joyce, introduce yourself and tell us uh, who you are. Okay, well, thank you for the introduction and the opportunity, Chrissy. I appreciate it. And yes, today is National Home Warranty Day. I am Joyce Reinhardt with First American Home Warranty. And there's a lot of warranty companies out there with the name First in them. But if you just remember, I'm First. <laughs> and First American is the one that you want to you wanna call. Um, if you'll look at my name there, the JoyceReinhardt.fahwcard.com. Take note of that. That will take you right to my virtual card. And there's all kinds of things. As Chrissy knows, the marketing material page is there. You can do all kinds of things with that virtual card. So please take note of that. It'll be a great way to be able to reach me, call me, text me, and see our brochure. So. So Joyce, I was going to say something you mentioned that I always like to think who's out there. And if you're wondering, is this a, a coffee chat for me? It is. If you are a current homeowner, a um, in the process of buying a home, a new home, uh, or a future homeowner. So really, if you're listening and you have two the ability to visualize us talking, um, it's for you, but also for realtors, because as she mentioned, um, she's got some phenomenal marketing material that you can actually get um, personalized to you. So yeah. it's out there, this is for you. So and landlords too. I should have mentioned that landlords. Oh, oh. A lot of landlords want it on their rental properties because it kind of takes that that budget protection helps them as well. Absolutely. Okay. So I have so many warranty questions to ask you, and I'm sure that they're out there. I'm going to kind of go through some general FAQs. If it's been an FAQ, then I imagine that's what's helpful to everyone out there. So as the warranty lady, tell us what is a home warranty? Okay. It basically is just a contract between First American and the homeowner that we provide a service contract for all your home's major systems and appliances. Um, there's different levels of the warranty. There's a basic plan, a middle of the road plan, and then our best plan is the Eagle Premier. The one I always recommend because when you've got the best, you're going to be the happiest. That, that's just the way it is. Um, but it is, it just takes care of your, you know, your HVAC system, your hot water heater, plumbing, plumbing stoppages, your electrical system, your dishwasher, stove, range, cooktop, did I mention hot water heater, garbage disposal, uh, garage door springs, garage door opener. I mean, the list is just phenomenal. So I cover everything, but it, it's most, most of the things in the home right. that are, yeah. So it's exactly. customer. And different so, plans, like I said, cover different things. So if you go with the Eagle Premier plan, you're going to get what I just mentioned in that plan and more. One thing for people to uh, consider if you're out there, if you're either, if you're a home seller and certainly a real estate agent, um, is to consider putting a home warranty on as you're listing your home um, because then you choose what yeah. the plan is versus if you're a buyer and a real estate agent is right. to consider or what is the plan you want if you're asking for it, right? Because that's a right. different scenario. And, and you made a good point. Putting it on at listing time, oh my gosh, I cannot stress enough how smart that is. Why would you not want to protect your seller as soon as that house goes on the market? There's something about when someone decides to list their house, <laughs> things start breaking down. They sign that listing agreement and they call you and say, oh my God, my hot water heater just went out. Or I'm, I've got all these issues going on at the house right now that I didn't know about. So by putting that on at listing, you're not only protecting your seller, but you're giving a history of that property up until the buyer's purchase. In case there are any claims during that listing period that we take care of, the buyer will know about them, we'll know about them, and it just makes that process a lot smoother when the buyer moves in and they may need to place a claim as well. So by having seller's coverage does not take anything away from the buyer's coverage is what I'm trying to say. Um, what we give to a seller during listing is just a basic plan. We don't give the Eagle Premier plan. We give a basic plan, but it's complimentary. And if the seller does want to be covered for HVAC, which I think they should, it's only a $70 option. And that $70 peace of mind in case that HVAC breaks down before the day of closing, which I can't tell you how often happens on the walkthrough or the day of the closing, the people walk in and say, oh, my AC just went out this morning. Oh, a lot. 
but, right? But it happens. Yeah, so, it's so like what Murphy's law or fate, whatever you want to call it, exactly. all law. No, yeah, it'll happen. And so for that seventy dollar option, I highly recommend if you put it on at listing time, add that option. That option stands alone; it's not included in any package. It's always stands alone by itself to add. So. Yeah, $70, $75 in this scheme of a hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in a transaction is really right. Yeah. Insurance policy it, for sale. Peace of mind and budget protection really is what a warranty truly is, is just buying budget protection. And as you know, this is a crazy market we're in right now. Crazy. I, I can't say I've seen anything like it in a long time or ever. Um, and a lot of sellers are, you know, getting over asking price or list price. So they're not sometimes offering a warranty. They may not feel they need to, but they're cutting their nose off to spite their face because it's going to help them as well. And if the seller isn't providing a warranty, by all means, your buyer can still get a warranty on their own. And they probably should if they've spent more money on the house because now they have less money in their bank account to take care of things that may go wrong after the closing. So it's still a good idea to have them get a warranty. Well, and I think your two sides of that on the transaction, if you're in a real estate state of mind with this right now, is if you are a seller and you go ahead and offer it, that does make that buyer feel more comfortable when they're presenting an offer that most likely in this market has no remedies in it. Wow. Um, so oh, yeah. So that gives them peace of mind. But on the flip side, if you don't get it during the transaction, if the buyer and you decide to pay for it yourself later, how long do they have to get that special, that pricing related to real, the real estate deal? All right. They should call me within 30 days of closing. If it's past 30, I uh, got to do some more finagling, but I will always try to help anybody get a warranty. Now, if they can't get the real estate plan because they have waited too long, then I would put them on a, uh, what we call a consumer direct plan and they can still get a warranty. It just won't be the pricing of the real estate transaction plan, which we make a little bit more affordable, more um, competitive with, you know, other pricing out there with other warranty companies. So it's a good idea to get it under the real estate plan if you can. Absolutely. Okay. So they have the plan and the unfortunate happens. Something has a, an issue and they need to use the plan. How, what's a, a service fee call and what, it, what does it look like when they have it? Okay. First thing I tell you as an agent to tell your buyer, unless it's an urgent matter, try to live in the house for a few weeks because here's what happens they'll move in and that very day oh gosh this is leaking or uh maybe there's a toilet leak or a, a pipe leak and if it's not causing damage then wait because two days later you're putting things away you might find something else if you would have called those in at the same time on the same work order you would just pay the service fee of 75 dollars that one time whereas if you call in immediately we come out and then in the meantime, you have found something else. It has to be on that work order initially for it to be included. So we will take up to three same trade work orders, meaning they would all have to be plumbing or they would all have to be an appliance claim because obviously we're not going to have a plumber working on your, you know, <laughs> your washer and dryer. Well, more than likely we're not. Um, or an HVAC person is not going to come out and be doing other work on your appliances. So I just tell people, unless it's urgent, if it is urgent, by all means, yeah, get the warranty called in. You'll be given an 800 number to call. Um, people call me sometimes directly. I don't mind that. Um, I, it's kind of a joke with my husband. If I'm not sleeping, <laughs> I answer the phone call. Um, you know, that mute button on the TV. Like, oh, I got to answer this. <laughs> um, but I do try to answer my phone because sometimes it's just a simple question that I can answer or text me. And I can help you place that claim. The homeowner will, once they receive the packet in the mail, after closing, what happens? Title company sends us the check. Then we know, okay, it's closed. Here's the payment. We've got a closing. We have a buyer. Then within 10 days, that contract will probably reach the buyer's home. And at that time, they should look at that information, make sure that warranty is what they thought it was. If they want to add any options, maybe they want to increase it to add something else or Maybe they've got a hot tub and the seller didn't put the hot tub coverage on there and they would like to have it. So add those options as soon as possible. And also you just want to make sure that they know there is a buyer's portal that they can go to sign up. And then they've got their own homeowners portal that they can just jump on place claims. 
Um, they can get nice little tidbits of information on how to care for the home that they've just bought that they may not, you know, new seller or new buyers, especially don't always know what's involved in home ownership <laughs> until they're deep into it. And they're like, Oh, I didn't think about this. Trial by fire. <laughs> yeah. So that one, um, marketing piece that I've shared with you before the homeowners maintenance guide. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. That homeowners maintenance guide is amazing. And that's available to agents on our portal. But when a buyer moves in, they can also take a look at that and give them all kinds of great tips on how to care for that home. Oh, it's an incredible guy, guys. It's out there. So if you are a client and you don't have a real estate agent, if you have one, go call your agent. Um, but if you don't have one, call me because I have a guide and I will absolutely get it over to you. It's amazing and it walks you through your home and seasons and everything you should yeah, do. Awesome. Um, if you're a real estate agent, get a hold of that marketing portal and get some with your branding on it. It's amazing. Right. Yeah. Um, Okay, so if it's a non-emergency, um, then that's kind of how to handle it. How are claims handled if it is an emergency? If is there it is an emergency, I highly recommend you call that 800 number. Or even if you do go online, there's a little tab that says, if this is causing secondary damage or life-threatening, click here. So we know it is an urgent matter. Um, an urgent matter doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have hot water. It, it's urgent to us when we don't have hot water, I know. But urgent matter means if you've got a major backup and your whole basement is, you know, got gunk coming in, that's kind of an emergency. Um, then we try to elevate those to the top of the list, get somebody out there as soon as possible. If we can't find someone or one of our contractors just simply are not available or might be an area where we don't have a contractor readily available, then you can be authorized through First American to get your own tech, but it has to be authorized. What you don't want to do is panic, call out ABs, no, not that, Rotor Rooter. I was going to give a, a common name, XYZ um, company, and then you haven't called First American first to place the claim. And then you call us and say, hey, I've got this $4,000 bill for this plumbing stoppage. I'd like you to pay it. It doesn't work that way. You've got to call First American first. Yeah. And you need to place the claim, give us the opportunity to find someone. If we can't, then we will authorize you to go to that next step and get your own technician out. That's fair. It's kind of like if you have something going on, you're going to call and say, hey, this is the problem. What's yeah. the next step? So give you give <clears throat> the first choice. I will say something out there and we won't get into the depths of, of costs and how much because they just need to get in contact with you and get a brochure. Yeah. But will say something Joyce and why I continue to come back to you is number one I love the communication and how quick you are so unfortunately your husband's right because I've been guilty of messaging you at a crazy hour um, but I do like the coverages that you offer so you have a much better coverage in the event that there is an issue um, not repairable at some point so we, we really do and I've been saying that I've been the company 20 years this October and there's so many things I do love about this company but the coverage I have it on my own home. We have it on our rental properties. My parents have had it. My cousins, my sisters, everybody that I know personally has the warranty. And I could not sell something or stand behind it and sell it to my family if I did not believe in it or have it myself. Um, I've had other warranty companies in the past before I started with First American. My feeling at that time, 20 years ago prior, I didn't think they were worth the paper they're written on. That was my honest opinion about warranties. Um, it seemed like every time I called, nope, that's not covered, or we're only going to give you $50 for that part. Uh, we're not going to give you the whole dishwasher. And I'm like, what is the deal with warranty companies? Well, then I met the lady at First American, and I was selling my condo because I was getting ready to get married. This was, like I said, 20 years ago. And she said, you really ought to put seller's coverage on while your home is listed. And I said, okay, I'll do whatever. I'm so glad I did because the day of my home inspection, my heat pump on my back patio condo just started billowing smoke. And I'm like, oh, here we go. This is going to cost me thousands right before my wedding, right before my daughter's wedding. I'm moving. And I called First American. They sent out a technician. I paid my service fee. And they replaced, uh, oh my gosh, I think it was... I was a whole heat pump or not, but it was something like $1,200 worth of work that was taken care of. Well, I was thrilled. And then I thought, okay, now here's a company that I can get behind. Well, fast forward, I'm at the closing table of my condo, get a call from First American. 
And I'm thinking, okay, here we go. They're gonna they're gonna renege on something. They're gonna say, nope, we we really aren't gonna cover that. And that's what I was expecting to hear. So I kind of called the lady back because she got to my voicemail. I got her voicemail, and I said, you know, I don't know why you're calling, but blah blah property just closed 15 minutes ago. So if there's an issue, sorry, it's not my problem. And I was kind of not not the nicest sounding tone in my voice. And then she called back. She goes, you know, no, I didn't even know you had our warranty, but I'm glad it worked for you. We're actually calling because you were recommended to interview for a position with our company. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, hello. <laughs> Let me change my attitude just a bit. And that was 20 years ago. And I wasn't looking for a job. It was just divine intervention, honestly. Uh, it was the best decision I've ever made. So that's how it came about. And I took the job. I've not looked back. It's been a great company to work for and represent. And I absolutely love, I love what I do. So it's all been good. It comes oh, up. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing is two weeks after I started working for First American, I got married. So the joke is my husband didn't marry me until I came with a warranty. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You came with a warranty. I came with a warranty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is there any claims? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he renews though. He ends up renewing each year. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Joyce, I know, so we've got it listed on here. Um, is the best way for, uh, whether it's agents or consumers, um, you want them to get up in contact with you through the your name.fawcard.com. Is that the best way to help you? Yeah, so if they go to that link right there, it'll take them to my virtual card. And then that virtual card, they can save it right to their phone. It's amazing. They can save it to their iPad. What's really greatest thing about that virtual card is what happens, home warranty companies, from time to time, we have price changes. Um, when that happens, someone inevitably will call me and say, I don't know what the new pricing is anymore. Can you help me? The pricing will always be the most current pricing on that link in that brochure. So you'll never have to guess again if you're putting in the contract the right price for the warranty. Just click on that, go right to the brochure. It's available in Spanish and English. The marketing materials um, link is on that as well for agents to look at. Uh, it's just tells you how to set up your own account as an agent so you can go online and order your own warranties. It's really a great, great tool. So that's the one I recommend. That's why I put that in my contact line there so they can go right to that and find me and my number and my email and all that I'm available. And when, when you do that, when you reach out to her, you will absolutely adore speaking to her just as much as I and everybody else in this inter industry do. Um, she's an absolute joy. So I wanted you to share something because something that you do brings a great joy to me and makes me laugh and smile frequently. Aww. So can you share with everyone about a passion that you have and he is furry and has four <laughs> legs. Tell us about your I will tell you all about come here Bentley. I might as well just show you here. I'll, I'll try to show you because he's here in the office with me. He's usually anywhere this <laughs> and that is now 23 pounds. There you are Bentley. Hey. And he's an absolute he is the joy of our life. My husband is obsessed with this dog. His name is Bentley. I know. I love you too. And I bought Bentley for my husband's birthday. And I told everyone I was buying my husband a Bentley for his birthday. <laughs> so as it turned out, that's Bentley. And he's happy as can be, whether it was a car or that Bentley. I think he loves this one more. They are inseparable. Best gift I've ever bought my husband. He's just obsessed over this dog. And as you know, Bentley is very talented. He talks. Yeah. So if you're not a part of my Facebook, you should um, find me on Facebook and look for my Bentley videos because he's quite the character. <laughs> he has um, an amazing ability that I've really not seen come about from other dogs. It's incredible. Oh, it is. <laughs> he can be kind of sassy sometimes, too. <laughs> yes, and he's very wise. He reminds people to call his mom. <laughs> yeah, he does. He knows the warranty lady very well. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Joyce, is there anything else that you wanted to share regarding um, warranties? Did we hit most of, I think I went down the FAQ yeah, list. You did. You know, I do want to talk about, because we did come out with our newest plan. Oh, oh gosh, it's been a while now. But in case people don't know, I do want to show, this is the current... There it is. 
Yeah. That's the current one for real estate. Now, see where it says rekey service for buyers? Oh, yes. Free season HVAC tune up. And we now have discounted two year plans. Those are what's new and it's amazing. The rekey is for buyers, and we will replace or rekey, not replace the lock, but we'll rekey the lock um, up to six locks and four sets of keys for each lock for the service price of $75. So it's really a good good value to have that many locks changed. Um, again, if we don't have a locksmith in your area, then we'll approve you to get your own and have it done that way. Uh, the HVAC tune-up is amazing. It kind of helps a buyer feel more comfortable if the seller does add that HVAC tune-up option in there because we will then twice a year come out during non-busy time. So don't call us in July for a preseason tune-up. You want to call there are certain months you want to call. And it's all written in the contract too. And we can then come out and do a preseason tune-up. And if we find that there's a problem at that time, then they can place a claim and move forth. So that preseason tune-up is just really a nice, a nice new feature that we've added. And the rekey. And we have something called filter joy. Have I told you about filter joy? I don't know what that is. Belly. Oh, <laughs> he wants to tell you about filter joy. <laughs> uh, how many times do people go into Lowe's or Home Depot or their local hardware store and they go, oh, I need furnace filters, but I cannot remember the size of my, is it a one inch or one and a half? You know, I don't remember what it is. We have a company that we've aligned with called filter joy and you can align with them and they will send you at your request how often you want to receive them the filter. You no longer have to go to the store and figure out and guess what you're buying. They send it right to your door. So that helps to keep that system running smoothly because it's a reminder because it's going to come to your door. Hey, it's time to change my furnace filter. We all forget those things. It happens. So filter joy is another um, nice little advantage of working with First American Home Warranty. Yeah, you don't have to wonder when did I last do it. You did it the last time the mail delivered. <laughs> That's right, the last time it came. So yeah. it's, it's a lot cheaper to replace a filter. filter yeah, that in a copay, the seventy five dollars, much less anything else that you might have um, go wrong with something. So right, so prevention is good. It's all good. Yeah, it's a good good little thing. Um, so I covered that with you. I guess just telling people, oh, here's a good tip for winter. Please know if you have any rental properties out there or listings that are vacant in this cold temperatures, you better make sure you're running some water, trickling water, and opening cupboard doors in those vacant homes where the plumbing is located, like under the sink. Uh -huh. We do not cover, no warning company covers frozen pipes that burst during the winter. And the kind of temperatures lately, you know, when it gets down, especially the sub-zero temps, and we haven't had that yet, but please know you want to take care of running a little bit of trickle of water when it gets really, really cold. You want to avoid those frozen pipes because warranty companies do not cover for frozen pipes. That's a sad call when I get those calls and they place a claim and I find out it's a frozen pipe and that's not covered. And also so turn it on in all of the faucets and a little slow trickle. Just, and open like, just like your major kitchen faucet, just a trickle. It just kind of keeps that water flowing and then open the cupboard doors where you do have the plumbing underneath because it kind of lets the air circulate a little bit better into those areas and keeps them a little bit warmer. So the, that's probably right now one of my best tips. And then read the fine print of the warranty. I mean, we have like anything like an insurance company or you know, co-pays, anything like that that you deal with, there are limits of liability. We have them too. Um, there are some limits on every warranty company. We have a lot less limits than a lot of others do. For instance, we pay up to 3,500 on appliance replacement or repair. Huge. Some companies only pay 500. Huge. Huge difference. This is where I'm saying, this is <laughs> where I'm like, this is good. Yeah, and you know, for a buyer, we don't have a cap on an HVAC system for a buyer or we don't have a cap on a hot water heater. Some companies only cover up to 2000 for an HVAC. They might cap out at a thousand on a hot water heater. We don't have those caps. Now, can there still be out of pocket expenses? Absolutely, depending on which warranty plan you went with. And if there's any modifications that have to take place to get something 
to where it needs to be, the modifications are not covered. But we cover code upgrades up to 250. We cover the uh, Holloway fee. We cover the permit fee. When you have that Eagle Premier plan that I talked about in the beginning, the best plan. Yeah. Why you want to have that plan? Because that's going to help you with those out-of-pocket expenses when they do occur. Hmm. Hope that makes sense. Absolutely, it does. I tell you what, no better day than Warranty Wednesday. Warranty, yeah, and National Warranty Day. And warranty National day. Warranty Day. Who knew? I looked at the calendar and ding, ding, ding. Yes, I know. know. I to you. <laughs> I know. Joyce, thank you so much um, for being with us today. Thanks for the tips and thank you. Thanks for being you in our industry. It's great to be a partner with you. Oh, well, thank you. And thanks for having me. I love doing this. There's always changes coming up. So we might have to talk again in the spring or the summer if anything new comes up. Okay. Hey, good idea. Love it. Because it's time for seasonal. We'll need some more Warranty Wednesday tips. So we'll look for a Wednesday for a coffee chat together. Sounds perfect. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hey, everybody out there, remember, rain, shine, sleet, or snow. I'm your realtor. Let's go.